Won't you open that door for me? Those wide open spaces come free. Oh, the road to the sunset sky, and the sunset I believe. It's just a Good morning, everyone. We are on day nine of our Sturgis 2022 trip, and what a trip it's been. We had a great day yesterday. We always like to show you a little bit of history. Where are we right now? We are at Mount Moriah Cemetery, and uh, this is going to be a really cool thing. We're going to see uh, Wild Bill Hickox up there, Calamity Jane, Seth Bullock. A few others are up there as well. Yeah, let's get up there and show them the dates of this burial services for these people. Yeah, it's really cool. One quick note. Um, this is the American flag flies here 24 hours a day by tradition. Okay. Is there a light on it? Uh, there has to be. There has to be. Well, let's get up there. Do we have to check the box for nudity? Fancy's got a shirt on. Well, we made it to the top of the hill. We are here at Hickox Grave. What's the story here? So we're up here at the cemetery where there's a number of famous people, or infamous people maybe. So Potato Creek Johnny, Calamity Jane, and our friend uh, Wild Bill Hickok. Now, interestingly enough, the story goes, I believe, that Calamity was really in love with him. Yeah. I'm not so sure he reciprocated. But they died in the same month, years apart. Right. But he died in 1876 in August, and she died August of 1903. And he was shot in the back of the head while playing poker. By? I think it was poker, by Jack McCall, who they call the coward. Yeah. So. And we've got Seth Bullock. We've got a number of people that are in this place. So, hey, it's been great to see this and get a little bit of history. We've seen two incredible grave sites this trip. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. Where were we in Glenwood Springs? Yes, uh, Who was Doc that? Holliday. There you go. You already saw that. Well, we have just dropped a number of series that we showed people pre rally what Sturgis was like. And it was really inspired by Juan. He had a tire issue last year. Yep. And then you ended up going on some tours. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I needed to get my tires changed at the local shop, and I had about four or five hours to burn. And I had just listened to a history lesson on a lot of the famous people here, and I found that the cemetery was up here. So I was like, I got a couple hours to burn, so let's just go upstairs and check it out. Well, I got to tell you, you were hoofing it, and we were riding up that hill on the bikes. That was a heavy That was walk. a steep sucker right there. <laughs> yeah. just, I actually walked from way down there. It was <laughs> even lower than where we started from. It was, it was quite the hike, but it was a very worth it to come check it out. So you were able to see the Adams House and a number of other uh, places down there, right? Right, right. So the main goal was to check out the, the grave here. And then uh, on the way down, I actually ran into the Adams House. I took a tour spontaneously. I was the only one there, but it was great. And I mentioned to these guys, hey, you guys should check it out. And we did. And so thank you for inspiring that series. Yeah. yeah no and hey, today we're going to try to work our way. We don't know where, probably somewhere in Rock Springs or somewhere in Wyoming. Who knows? Maybe Utah. We'll see. But we, we have about five or 600, 700 miles to do. We're headed west. So Southwest. Head, southwest? Yes. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Getting the day started, it's 10.30, we're right on schedule. Taking it easy on the film and just enjoying the road, but we've been at a real good pace. We got Juan's brother Sal with us, and he's a great rider, having a good time. 
and uh, we're basically going for the most miles we can today. Well, I think it's been interesting to have Juan with us. I mean, Sal, I mean Juan. It was funny this morning when we were in the head comms, I couldn't tell if it was Juan or Sal. <laughs> <laughs> and then his humor started, and I'm like, hey, that's definitely Juan. And then I'm like, no, that's Sal. So they share common values and sound. Yes, they do. So uh, we'll get some fuel. Uh, what do you think our chances are of finding a nice place to eat lunch? Casper's a good sized town, so we'll find a good place for fuel and lunch. Yes, sir. So we've seen a lot of a lot of antelope. We've seen a lot of dead deer, carcasses all over the place. We've seen a few bikes headed home and trailers headed home as well. Yes. We've had some solid miles. We've definitely got a lot more ahead of us. So. Uh, Let's get us some lunch and see them down the road. We'll see you in Casper, boys. All right. Later. My way is Subway. We stopped here in Casper. I got a mouthful of food. But I got to tell you, this Black Forest ham sandwich <laughs> hit the spot. Infomercial. Oh, that will look weird. <laughs> Hey, you fill up your gas, fill up your body, hit the road, cram the miles in. We're doing good on my own. How many miles have we go so far? Like 200. Ah, what's this? We got way more to go. Oh, easy. So here we are in our favorite place, Rock Springs, Wyoming. Is it our favorite place? I don't know, but I can see that restaurant we gave a bad review to. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're about 450 miles in. Our first stop was in Casper, and we're about 250 miles away from there. But uh, I think we're going to end up in Park City or Heber City tonight. It's another 165 miles or so. Should be okay. We're putting them down though. We're we're emptying our tanks. We're gonna do we're gonna do maybe 700 miles. Which will be about 650, 700 miles. And we're having a good time. But I gotta tell you that last stretch, the last stretch, I was really falling asleep. But Galen got me a little espresso espresso, espresso. shot. And it woke me up at a payday. And rubs only have those. Yeah. But hey, good. I I. Come here, man. I love you. I know it's your birthday in February. It's February. I, I got these glasses for you that I found in the parking lot. So I just have to glue you them just together? just have to glue them together and like, you'll be fine. Whoa. <laughs> so, so we'll see you in Park City or Hebrew City. I don't know. Boom. How you doing, Sal? Hey, guys. What happened? Uh, he broke his glasses <laughs> I gave him. Holy <laughs> shit. How do we do that? Hey, we'll see you down the road. Down the road. Yeah. Crossing into Utah. It is 7:34. Galen just dropped some kind of electronic device out of his glove box, but we don't know what it was, so we kept on going. What's up, LC? Well, I don't know how many different. He has both of his cameras. He said so. Hey, you never know. I, ho I hope it wasn't your wallet. No, it wasn't my wallet. It was something square that fell down. I don't even know what I had in there. Uh oh. But home sweet home, huh, guys? For me, anyway. Well, we've made one heck of a rally today getting out here. We're going to be hitting close to uh, 700 miles, and I think if we really wanted to, we could keep going, but we don't want to ride into the dark, so we'll see how it goes. No, for sure. Because right now it feels like a lunch break at 7.30. I could probably go to uh, St. George and have a nice 450-mile ride home tomorrow. But exactly. We'll take it easy. We'll, we'll keep it safe, have a good dinner, and... Uh, 
make it a two day, uh, probably 1400 mile run home from Deadwood. Well, hey, here's my new setup too, guys. Since my chin mount broke, come on by me. Let's show the people that setup. He is uh, holding his <laughs> GoPro, his, his chin mount went through the ringer so that thing's not looking too hot. So we're just holding it. So we, uh, we do what we gotta do to keep these videos pumping. Well, it looks like we'll get into Heber City tonight by uh, maybe 8.30. Probably stop and get something to eat and then go check into the hotel. Awesome. Good job today, guys. And uh, what a beautiful sun that's going down and uh, the golden hours here. And we are loving it. So, well, before that, I can't wait until Sal sees this canyon we're about to go through. He says he's stoked for it, so let's get it. Yeah, let's get after it. All right. Down the road. Later. Later. What a great ride today. What a day, what a day. Heck yeah, man. Cheers. Cheers to a great yeah. day. Cheers. Hey, we're here at the Back 40 Ranch House Grill in Heber City, Utah. I'm really proud of you guys. We did a, we left at 10.30 and we did a 650 mile day today, so. We kind of ripped it. You, it know? was great. It was just like, we. it was a easy flow. We were going, we were hauling butt. We were gas stopping, we were coming here. I mean, boom. I mean, you go from like this 10.30 in the day, it's starting to get warm. We're on the interstate. Unfortunately, we need to get home. We got to get in the shop and, and do the orders. But you go from this 100 degree weather, all of a sudden it's seven o'clock in Utah. We're dropping down through the canyon by uh, the dam and all those great things. And here comes the twilight. It was beautiful. I the love golden hour stuff. was epic today. But this day started, we were at Mount Moriah, and that was awesome. So it was an action-packed day, great riding. Now we have this great food, we're filling our bellies. So, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow, we're making the trek home. We have another 700 miles to do, and we will see you all down the road. Well, good morning. We didn't actually get to close out last night. Uh, got a little bit late. But man, you've got to try the Back 40 Saloon and Grill. Wasn't that great food? That was great food. We really enjoyed it. I mean, this is this whole 10 days has been just a fantastic trip. I mean, one of our best journeys, I think, that we've had so far. Well, yeah, and uh, we're going to end up with about 3,000 miles on the bikes. So we have about a 700-mile run today. We'll do back in two days, you know? So yeah. the guys... They really flew home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to get home in two days. We were hoping that they'd get stalled in Denver and, and yeah. lay over and we could beat them home. But no that's not filming. Happen. No filming. We're going to enjoy the ride. We're just, you know, there's clouds, there's beautiful weather out here. So, no, we're closing out here. And that's Sturgis 22. What a great trip. Hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to next year. And we have some big and better things coming along the, the rest of the year, right? Oh, yeah. We're going to be in Kentucky. Year, we're going to be in Nashville. We're going to be all over the, the place. The rest of the year and beyond. Because and we're, beyond. we're going to keep on so going. So is that to infinity and beyond? Infinity and beyond. All right. So, hey, with all that, we will see you down the road.